Let's now discuss if the graphs of two linear equations are perpendicular to one another. The particular set that I've got written here are. Let's first look at them so that we can visually see that they are perpendicular. The y-intercept for this equation is a negative 3, and the slope is a positive 2 thirds. So from here, I'm going to go up 2 and over 3 and graph the line. I probably should have used a straight edge here for y equals 2 thirds x minus 3. The second equation, its y-intercept is a positive 1. And the slope is a negative 3 over a positive 2. So I'm going to go down 3 and over 2. And I'm going to graph the line uh, for y equals a negative 3 halves x plus 1 looking at my sloppiness here. All, all I need to see is that there is a right angle um, between the two lines, or in other words, it forms a perfect square right there. There's 90 degrees right there. And what we're going to notice then is that the slopes of two lines that are perpendicular to one another, their slopes are the opposite Reciprocal, number one. The slope of this line is two-thirds. The slope of the line that is perpendicular to it is a negative three over two. Please look at this two over three, three over two. This one's positive, this one's negative. So that's one way you can find if two lines are perpendicular is if their slopes are the opposite reciprocal. Another way we say is that the slope of one times the slope that's perpendicular to it should be equal to a negative 1. That means that this 2 thirds times a negative 3 over 2 should equal a negative 1. And it does in this case because those reduce to be 1 and these reduce to be 1 and a positive times a negative is that negative. So again, the product of their slope should be equal to a negative 1. Um, or their slope should be um, the reciprocal and opposite in sign. Let's, without graphing, let's check a few others. Um, so let's go with um, y equals 2 fifths x plus 4. And we obviously know that its slope is 2 over 5. And the second equation that I have to share with you is 5x plus 2y equals 1. So I have to get y alone in the second equation to look at it in slope-intercept form. So please be cautious when I do this. When I subtract 5x from both sides of the equation, over here I've got a positive 1 and a negative 5x. I'm putting the x term first and then the constant so that when I divide both sides by 2 right now, I can see the slope of this line. The slope of this line is 2 fifths. The slope of the line that I believe is perpendicular to it is a negative 5 over 2. And I can say yes, they are perpendicular. That's a symbol for perpendicular because one slope is 2 fifths and the other one is the opposite reciprocal of that. Or their product is equal to a negative 1. Let's look at an example where that they are not perpendicular when I am trying to check to see if they are. So I have y equals a negative 3 fourths x plus 2. I'm going to write this over here. Its slope is a negative 3 quarters. And then um, 4x plus 3y equals 7. And so I want to get y alone. So I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides of this equation. To isolate, my goal is to isolate y, so I bring down the minus 4x, I bring down the 7. I divide both sides by 3, and I see that the slope of the second equation is a negative 4 thirds. A negative 4 thirds, where can I write this? Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and, um, and write it over here. Um, the first one has a slope of a negative 3 fourths. The second one has a slope of a negative 4 thirds. While they are reciprocals, they are not opposite in sign. So these two are not perpendicular. Not 
perpendicular. Um, because their product should be a negative one, this particular product would equal a positive one because a negative times a negative is a positive. We've just finished looking at lines that are parallel and lines that are perpendicular. And for the most part, this is the conclusion to the graphs of linear equations. And specifically, I've focused a lot on slope-intercept form.